Hey there Planet Enthusiast, we're back at it again. My name is Brad and welcome back to my channel where we talk about indoor houseplant tips, tricks, and care. Today we're talking about the beautiful Ficus lorata, otherwise known as the fiddle leaf fig, with its beautiful dark green foliage and big violin shaped leaves. This particular plant has become a staple among many houseplant enthusiasts. Let's get started in learning how to care for this beautiful plant. Let's go! What? Before we dive into the care of the fiddle leaf fig, let's take a moment to appreciate its elegance. The fiddle leaf fig comes from the rainforest of West Africa. It gets its name from the wonderful violin or fiddle shaped leaves, hence the name fiddle leaf fig. This particular plant adds a touch of elegance, drama, and sophistication into any space that it's put in, making it a popular choice among interior designers and decorators alike. First things first, let's talk about the lighting requirements for the fiddle leaf fig. The fiddle leaf fig can be grown both inside and outside of your house. If it's grown inside, be sure to give your fiddle leaf fig bright, indirect light. That means make sure your fiddle leaf fig receives at least six hours of sunlight through the windows. If your plant is growing outside, it can tolerate direct sunlight, no problem. The key to making sure that your fiddle leaf fig is able to sustain itself outside is making sure that its wonderful, big, violin-shaped leaves are acclimated to the intense sun that it's gonna receive. If you grow your fiddle leaf fig inside, it will get scorched if you place it outside. You can, however, transition your interior fiddle leaf fig into the outside by slowly acclimating it to the sun. This means, when you take your fiddle leaf fig outside, you only want to expose it to about 30 minutes of direct sunlight before bringing it back inside. Do this for a couple of days. From there, up the time to about an hour. And before you know it, you'll go from one hour to one and a half hours to two hours, and then your fiddle leaf fig will be able to stay outside all day long. This particular fiddle leaf fig is grown outside in spring and summer, no problem. I bring it inside in the winter and fall, that way I can be sure to enjoy its wonderful elegance. Next, let's talk about watering. The fiddle leaf fig does enjoy water, but it does not like to be waterlogged. What this means is you need to make sure that the first few inches of your soil are dry before you water again. There are a couple of ways that you can check to make sure that it's time to water your fiddle leaf fig. The first method you can use is to use your finger and stick it into the first few inches of your soil to see whether or not it comes out damp or dry. If you put your finger into the first few inches of your topsoil, you pull it out and it's damp, it is not time to water your fiddle leaf fig. If however, you pull your finger out and it is dry, it may be time to water your fiddle leaf fig. Another method that you can use, which is my favorite method, is to simply pull the root ball out of the pot and make an assessment of whether or not it's time for you to water again. Lifting the root ball out of the pot is very easy. Simply grab the trunk of your fiddle leaf fig and lift. What I'm about to do is I'm about to grab the trunk of my fiddle leaf fig, simply like this, and lift. As you can see, this root ball is fully saturated. It is not time to water. If, however, you notice that the top few inches of your root ball are dry, it may be time to water again. Another thing that you can do if you don't want to lift your root ball out of the pot is simply take your finger and put it at the bottom of the pot. If you take your finger and you stick it at the bottom of the pot and you notice that the soil is extremely damp, it's not going to be time to water. If, however, you put your finger on the bottom of the root ball and you notice that it is dry, your fiddle leaf fig is more than likely severely underwater and you want to make sure that you fully saturate that root ball so it can be properly watered. If you like videos like this and would like to see more videos about houseplant tips, tricks, and care, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free and would mean a lot. Now, back to the video. Next, let's talk about fertilizing your fiddle leaf fig. Fiddle leaf figs are heavy feeders. You want to make sure that you provide your fiddle leaf fig with a well-balanced 3-1-2 NPK ratio fertilizer. What this means is any values that are of that 3-1-2 ratio will be good for your fiddle leaf fig. To check whether or not your fertilizer is appropriate, look at the label and see what those values are. There are two types of fertilizers that you can provide your fiddle leaf fig. The first type of fertilizer is granular. Granular fertilizers are great for people who tend to over fertilize their plants. Granular fertilizers are also good because they allow for the slow release of that fertilization 
and therefore they can last a lot longer than if you were to apply a liquid fertilizer. Granular fertilizers are activated by water. When the granular fertilizer is applied and after you water, the fertilizer will slowly release into the soil feeding your plant. If you are growing your plant outside, however, it might be more appropriate for you to use a liquid fertilizer. I love using liquid fertilizers because when using the liquid fertilizer, the fertilizer becomes immediately available to the roots. Again, fiddly figs are heavy feeders, so if they are grown outside, the liquid fertilizer is going to be your best option. A lot of people recommend that you dilute your fertilizer to have strength. What diluting your fertilizer means is, for instance, if you look at the back of your label and it says to use one tablespoon per gallon of water, you would instead use one half tablespoon per gallon of water. I do not do this. I use full strength. This is because, again, your fiddle leaf fig is a heavy, heavy feeder. It wants to be fed. The more that it's fed, especially if it's outside, the faster and more quickly it will grow. It will develop your beautiful fiddle shaped leaves as well as a nice healthy trunk and more importantly an extremely healthy root system. As your fiddle leaf fig grows it may become appropriate for you to repot your plant. Fiddle leaf figs do not like to be root bound. You will hear people say that fiddle leaf figs should be root bound and thoroughly enjoy it. This isn't the case. Some of the reasons why people keep their plants root bound is because they either hear people telling them that it's beneficial for their plant or because it makes it more difficult to overwater your plant. This isn't good for the fiddle leaf fig. If you want the big beautiful leaves of your fiddle leaf fig to continue to get bigger and bigger, you want to make sure that it has proper and ample room to grow. If your fiddle leaf fig becomes severely root bound or if your fiddle leaf fig is root bound and you need to size up, make sure that you slowly increase the size of that pot. This will make it more difficult to overwater. So for instance, I currently have my fiddle leaf fig in a 10 inch pot. If I were to size up, I would move to a 12 inch pot. If I am in a 12 inch pot, I will move to a 14 inch pot. Giving your fiddle leaf fig more room for the roots to develop also makes it easier for the plant to take up the necessary nutrients to support the top growth. The more roots that the plant has, the easier it is for it to not only take up water, but to also take up the fertilizer that is within the granules or the liquid. Fiddle leaf figs truly have a beautiful structure. You might notice that when you first get your fiddle leaf fig, it will just grow vertical. There are a couple of ways that you can achieve the iconic branching of the fiddle leaf fig. The first method that you can use is simply to top it off. What topping off means is simply cutting the top of your fiddle leaf fig off and allowing the energy that was once used for the vertical growth to be diverted into the nodes below the cut point. From there, you will get one, two, three, or multiple branches from your main trunk. The second method that you can use is notching. What notching is is simply providing or making a cut above or below a node of your fiddle leaf fig without cutting it off entirely. What this will allow is for the vertical growth to continue upward, but at the same time, activate the nodes that are below the cut point. This is a bit trickier and can sometimes not work. The final method that you can use is simply providing your fiddle leaf fig with a lot of energy and a lot of sunlight. This particular fiddle leaf fig was topped off and I was able to get three branches. I have another fiddle leaf fig that has not been topped off, has that wonderful vertical growth, but at the same time has branching occurring. The fiddle leaf fig that has formed the branches without being topped or notched is being grown outside and has at least eight hours of direct sunlight. I bring that fiddle leaf fig inside in the winter and fall and then back outside again in the spring and summer, and it continues to have that strong vertical growth and form multiple, multiple branches. Healthy leaves are a sign of a healthy fiddle leaf fig. Periodically check and inspect your fiddle leaf fig for things such as pests and dust. Be sure that you dust the wonderful violin shaped leaves periodically in order to maximize the amount of light absorption. Also periodically check for pests such as spider mites, mealybugs, and thrips to ensure that your fiddle leaf fig isn't becoming sick or needs to be treated. I'd also like to share some tips with you about encouraging your fiddle leaf fig to be as strong as possible. The first tip is do not stake your fiddle leaf fig. A lot of times you'll see fiddle leaf figs are staked. This is usually a support that is used in order to support the trunk of your fiddle leaf fig. This is not ideal for your fiddle leaf fig at all. What the stake is essentially doing is preventing your fiddle leaf fig trunk from being able to support itself. And what that will cause is an extreme lean of your fiddle leaf fig one way or another. This will also discourage your fiddle leaf fig from branching out. Your fiddle leaf fig will easily branch out if it believes that it has the support that it needs in order to support those additional branches. There are also a couple of things that you can do to encourage your fiddle leaf fig trunk to become nice and thick if it's spindly. The first thing that you can do is put your fiddle leaf fig outside. If your fiddle leaf fig is placed outside, the natural wind 
that your fiddly fig will experience will encourage the trunk to become thick over time. If you don't want to take it that far and instead want to keep your fiddle leaf fig inside, the easiest way to achieve that nice thick trunk is by shaking your fiddle leaf fig vigorously for a couple of minutes each day. What the shaking will do is mimic the wind that the fiddle leaf fig would experience outside. Shaking is easy. Simply grab the trunk of your fiddle leaf fig and shake vigorously. Your fiddle leaf fig can take it. Just continue to do this for about five minutes. Again, it can take it. Shake it vigorously. Do not hold back because if you do hold back, your fiddle leaf fig won't find the need to get that thick trunk to support the top growth. Now, let's talk about troubleshooting. There are a couple of things to be mindful of whether you're growing your fiddle leaf fig inside or outside. Let's talk about inside first. For your fiddle leaf fig, one thing to be mindful of is whether or not your fiddle leaf fig is placed near an air vent. If your fiddle leaf fig is placed near an air vent, it will be susceptible to draft. What draft will do is cause your tips of your fiddle leaf fig to start to brown out. If this is occurring, and if you notice that your fiddle leaf fig is placed near an air vent, be sure to move it. Fiddle leaf figs don't like cold drafts, so not only make sure that your fiddle leaf fig isn't placed near an air vent, but also make sure that it's not placed near a drafty window. Fiddle leaf figs are susceptible to a wide variety of pests. Spider mites, mealybugs, thrips, things like that. If you notice that your fiddle leaf fig is showing signs of pest damage, be sure to treat appropriately. For instance, if you notice webbing on your fiddle leaf fig, chances are you have spider mites. If you have spider mites, you can treat with a generic pesticide. If, however, you notice that the damage is more extensive and your tissue within your fiddle leaf fig is becoming damaged, most likely this is a sign of thrips. Thrips can only be treated with a systemic pesticide, so be mindful of that. Also, be mindful that fiddle leaf figs can experience fungal diseases. If you are misting your leaves to your fiddle leaf fig, or if your fiddle leaf fig is exposed to high humidity levels for an extended period of time on top of the misting, you will notice that your fiddle leaf fig will begin to yellow out. If this happens, you want to treat your fiddle leaf fig with a fungicide as soon as possible. Fungal diseases are easily identified by process of elimination. If you notice that your leaves are beginning to turn yellow, brown, or even black, and you know that this is not related to pest, lighting, or watering, then chances are you do have a fungal disease. Be mindful that fungal diseases are easily treated by a fungicide. Next, let's talk about what the leaves will do. If you notice that your leaves are beginning to droop, chances are that this is a sign that your fiddle leaf fig is either over or underwatered. Usually, if the top leaves of your fiddle leaf fig are beginning to wilt, it's a sign that your fiddle leaf fig is overwatered. If, however, the bottom leaves of your fiddle leaf fig are wilting first, chances are it's because your fiddle leaf fig is underwatered. Another sign that your fiddle leaf fig might be overwatered or underwatered is if you notice that your leaves are beginning to yellow and drop. If you notice that your fiddle leaf fig leaves are beginning to yellow and drop while the top of your fiddle leaf fig remains nice, strong, and healthy, this is a watering issue. If, however, it was a fungal or bacterial issue, you will notice that your fiddle leaf fig leaves will become impacted regardless of where they are along your tree. And there you have it. Tips and tricks for caring for the fiddle leaf fig. Be sure that you keep an eye out on the watering, lighting, and feeding requirements for your fiddle leaf fig. Also be sure that you periodically inspect your fiddle leaf fig for fungal and pests. With these things in mind, your fiddle leaf fig will easily thrive underneath your care. If you have any additional questions about fiddle leaf fig care, please be sure to leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer them. If you have any additional tips or tricks, also be sure to leave a comment below. I love to read them and I love to learn what other people are doing in order to encourage the beautiful growth of their fiddle leaf fig. With that, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.